The demand for cesium devices is growing at a rapid rate and this is clearly putting pressure on the market. There are only a handful of vendors who can provide the necessary devices and this is why it's critical to work with a reliable and capable partner. Historically, cesium clocks were used only by telecom providers and utilities, but this is changing. Cesium is of interest to defence organisations, data centre providers and any other company that needs the most precise timing possible in their networks. In fact, the demand for next-generation cesium technology is now far greater than anything seen for legacy cesium solutions. This sudden interest in cesium has developed for a number of reasons, but one of the key motivators is GNSS resiliency. With the rapid growth of cyber attacks, companies are trying to ensure that if they lose GNSS, they will still have a capable backup. With NTP, this wasn't a huge problem. Rubidium oscillators were enough as a backup for GNSS. But with the migration to PTP, we need something that is 1,000 times more stable, as PTP is 1,000 times more accurate. The only alternative is cesium. However, the demands upon cesium clocks are incredibly varied. Applications now require much more rigorous support for short-term stability, long-term stability, and in many cases, a mixture of both. For telecom applications, short-term stability is key, and the ITU is closely following this situation, especially for 5G network requirements. In these areas, the ITU is releasing new standards for EPRC and EPRTC Class A, to be followed by EPRTC Class B. This forces mobile operators to align and in turn creates the need for more accurate clocks. To learn more about how Oscilloquartz can help you, please visit www.oscilloquartz.com.